Namdi, what a start to life for you at Wickham Wanderers, uh, making your debut in, in Saturday's game. Just talk us through your experience last Saturday. Um, yeah, obviously it's my first professional game and it was just mad. The fans were unreal. Um, the boys have really helped me settle in. So um, obviously it was unfortunate for Blooms to get injured and that's how I came in. But just to, to come in at a time where they were on top and, and get the win was, was fantastic for not only the boys but for me personally. How do you reflect on your own performance? Because the game was on a knife edge once that incident happened and Lincoln were perhaps going to get back on top, but the boys just stayed so calm, didn't they, and, and went on and sorted out the points? Yeah, I think um, Gaffer literally just told me to just go in and just be relaxed and just do my thing. So I think that made it easier, especially with the Gaffer just helping me out. So um, the boys didn't get affected by the injury or their goal or how it went in. Um, I think we just stuck to the task and just kept doing what we were doing. And, I think if we were a bit unlucky because we could have had about five or six, so yeah. Obviously you've been in now for a week and a half, how, how have you found it generally setting in and, and being around the place with the, with the other players? Um, the boys are fantastic to be honest, uh, there's no there's no one that's, that's quiet, they all really welcome in and stuff so it made it easier. Um, staying in the house with a couple of the boys, so that also makes it easier to get to know them as well. So yeah, the boys, the boys are really good. Um, the training ground is really good and, and the coaches are really good, so it's, it's made me settle in a lot quicker, so yeah, I'm happy. Obviously, before you came here, you were in and around sort of Bournemouth's first team setup. Talk us through what it's been like at that club, obviously a very progressive club uh, and sort of famed as well for bringing through some young players as well. Um, Bournemouth's a bit like Wickham as well, it's a bit like a family club. They, um, they have traditions and things that we've had set for a long time. And I think that's what's helped the club progress so quickly, especially with the coaching staff um, sticking to the rules from the beginning and has helped them go from that amazing story from League Two with minus points to all the way to Prem and obviously staying up there and trying to better every day. I think the boys and the team are getting better day by day. We're getting in better players. so. Hopefully this season will be the best Premier League season so far. So, yeah. And the manager here is, I think, good friends of Eddie Howe. There's sort of lightnesses, I suppose, about being young managers making an early impression. Yeah. Um, how have you found working with Gareth Angel in the first week um, and a half? Gareth Angel is a really good manager. Um, he's spoken to me one-to-one -one and I think that's probably the best thing for a footballer, for a coach to show interest in you. And I think Eddie Howe does that as well. So it really helps you sell, really helps you be confident if you know the manager's there to back you and both managers seem to give me a lot of confidence, so yeah. Just looking ahead to Saturday's game at Chillingham, we've had sort of four phenomenal home games, three away games have been much tighter, all draws so far, yeah. um, but I suppose the confidence of just this unbeaten start and, and the way the boys are playing suggests that there's no reason why we can't go and get that first away win on Saturday. Um, yeah, the boys, everyone's really excited to be honest, obviously with the way things are going and being top of the league, we just hope to keep it going. So. Um, Obviously going into the game, we know that Gillingham are good no matter where they are in the league and, and that we can't take them lightly just because we're at the top, we need to just stay humble and, and hopefully take in what we've done from the home performances into these away games so we can start getting better results, so hopefully we can start with that this weekend.